Hello and what's up YouTube? This video is a continuation of my previous video where I made this style of powder hopper. So today I will test it and also make a comparison with this earlier powder hopper design. This is the earlier powder hopper version that have the two air hoses going into the jar top lid. Check out the video where I made this powder coating gun with this style of hopper. And from now on, I'll call it Hopper A for easy reference. I picked a transparent plastic jar so that I can see what's happening with the powder inside. I slightly modified the gun to have this short hose coming from the blow gun going to the T fitting. And I did that so that I can quickly swap to the other style of powder hopper, which I'll call Hopper B. This jar lid is thick and sturdy, so I just drilled the right diameter of hole and threaded the two brass push-in fittings to the plastic cap. It seems to work okay and I did not notice any air leaks. Before I start spraying powder, I'll just quickly show you how I improved the earth ground connection to my setup. I simply drilled a hole to my concrete floor and hammer in a six foot long ground rod. And that is where I connected my ground wire in addition to the earth ground terminal of the AC home outlet. For the first test, I am spraying powder to this piece using hopper A. I have to adjust the air regulator pressure depending on the remaining powder in the hopper to get a satisfactory powder cloud. And it seems to work great. I am using a flashlight with white light to check for areas that does not get enough powder. And at that time that I noticed an issue with my setup. You see there is moisture inside the jar and I can see patches of water condensation. Take note that I do not have any air dryer with my air compressor yet. I do believe that moisture in the powder hopper has a negative effect to the performance and or finished product. It is maybe the reason for powder clumping together and surging or spitting out of the gun sometimes. So I put that part to the oven to cure and before I show you the final product, let's go ahead and test Hopper B. Hopper B is the one I built from the previous video and this is the first time I'll be putting it to practical test. This is the paint powder I will use for Hopper B. If you can read what it says, then you'll have an idea of my location. So just like Hopper A, this one attached to the PVC pipe through the PVC bulkhead on the jar. Then the air outlet easily attaches to the push-in fittings. If you look closely, there is already patches of moisture in the jar due to condensation of warmer air coming from my air compressor. I connect the ground clip 
connected to my power supply and is also connected to the ground rod I showed you earlier. I noticed that this silver colored powder is finer compared to the black one. If I want to be more scientific with comparing performance of upper A and B, I should have used the same powder for both. By the way, I used 4 volts input to the high voltage cascade. So this is the piece before powder coating using upper A. You can see lots of rust and surface roughness. And this is the finished product using upper A. The result is very good overall. So in areas that is pitted and rough, those surface condition still shows after powder coating. Uh, that is just how it works. Now these are the pieces I powder coated using Hopper B. Very good results as well. You cannot see it on the video but there are specks of metallic powder on this painted finish from that powder. That is more visible on direct sunlight. So the conclusion is that both Hopper A and B works. But based on my experience, the original Hopper A works slightly better in getting a consistent powder cloud. I still have to sort out the issue with moisture in my compressed air, so maybe performance will still improve. But anyway, that is, is all for this video and I hope you like it. Thank you very much and God bless you all.